All right, everybody. It is now time for us to tackle the penultimate mission of episode five, Nightmare Underworld. Now, the first two secrets are literally within each other at the start of the map. And the second secret has a soul charge, so I don't have to worry about my health. You guys are probably wondering why I don't like this map. My main cons my main thing with this map is it feels like it drags on a bit too long. And also, listen to what happens when we fire our first shot. Yeah, we alerted a cyber demon somewhere. Also, there are going to be a lot of shotgunners teleporting in right here. So make sure you stay ready for that. Now, the only way we can go right now is this cave, so let's get going. There's a specter right here, so we're going to kill him. Now, this is where it gets dicey. As soon as you drop down, go to the right, and then there are going to be imps inside of these cages. Go ahead and kill them. And also, the wall behind you opens up. I'm gonna rocket these cat. I'm gonna rocket this caco because I ain't dealing with that here. There is a second one, so we're gonna kill them with rockets. There are five rockets here and a rocket launcher, so it's fine. And two lost souls will come out of these holes here, or three of them, excuse me. I only remember ever seeing two. I guess that third one never came out. Anyway, the, and now that we've taken care of that, we have a bit of breathing room. We can take care of this Kaka demon right here. Through this hole. And now we can shoot the sigil right here and reveal switch. That way we can enter here. There is an imp below us, so watch out for that. Now going through this cave, there are going to be shotgunners. Also, when you get to this first step right here, go ahead and turn around and you'll see a, see a split path right here with armor and shells. This is secret number three. But we're gonna go ahead and kill these guys. Like so. And now we have a bunch of imps right here at the exit. Try to keep your health high as best you can. Now we're gonna run over here to the left. And we're going to kill these imps from down here. I'm gonna go ahead and climb up. Ah yes, there is a caco right there. We'll get to him in a second. There we go. All right, once we killed all the enemies up here, let's go ahead and head back down. In this room where this caco is, let's go ahead and kill the caco. All right. Now we can actually drop down into here. Now let's go ahead and follow the edge. There's a shotgunner in here, so stay vigilant. And we come around here. This is secret number four, and there's a backpack with some light bullets or light ammunition. Now, for our next secret, this platform right here lowers so we can go back. But if we stay on it when it goes up and then drop down right here, we catch ourselves on a ledge. And in here is secret number five with a box of rockets. So we're gonna go ahead and lead back on that so we can get back over here. Now then, I'm gonna go ahead and use my chain gun. We're gonna go ahead and take down a bunch of these zombie men. Now when you make this turn right here, there is gonna be quite a bit. There is a shotgunner in that window right there. Make sure you're quick about it. I'm trying to keep my health up as high as I can. Because we're about to have a four, we're gonna have to run through some la forced lava here in a second. Go ahead and shoot and kill all of them. All right, now I'm not, I'm gonna do this as fast as I can, so I'm gonna. So it's gonna be hard for me to explain, but basically what we want to do: grab the red key, grab the energy pack, run through this lava, take a right, grab this invincibility, go behind this wall here, walk towards that. That's gonna lower, 
and then let's head back to where we were and we spawned a cyber demon. Use your BFG, kill him. All right, and now I'm going to chainsaw these guys, save ammo. Or at least as long as my invincibility lasts. Okay, we're gonna back it up, back it up. All right. Okay. I think that worked out as good as it could have. No, you don't. All right. Whew. So yeah, we had to do all of that so we could take out that cyber, but we also needed to activate that path over there. This is gonna suck. Because these floors do 10 damage, or these floors do 20 damage. If we run around back here through that doorway we opened, whoo, we just barely made it. This is our... This is our sixth and final secret, but now we have to damage to get back. We're gonna take the long way back. That was probably the, that's probably like one of the most bullshit secrets. Honestly, I feel like the smarter thing to do prob to do would have probably just been go over there, activate the wall, let it start lowering, and then grab the invincibility, and then kill the cyber, and then head back. That's probably what you're supposed to do with that, but otherwise, it's painful. We're not in a very good condition, but we killed the cyber. So, I mean, I feel like that's the best case scenario right now. Anyway. Now, if you're wondering... When we went this way... There's a teleporter right here. You'll hear a door open, and if we step through it... There is a mega armor that opens up in a door right here. Now then. Now that we got that. Let's go ahead and head this way. Now that we have the red key card, we want to go ahead and climb up here where these imps were. First we want to do is we want to go right. There's an imp and what not to kill. There's also more imps to kill over here. There's a BFG and more cell ammo. We're going to use our BFG here because there is a Baron right there. So we're gonna kill him. Switch back to our chain gun. And now we're gonna go the other way. Having 35 health is not good. Alright. Okay, there are two specters. Make sure you kill them. Hopefully you don't lose sight of them if they do try coming outside. Now there is a shotgunner right up here. There's also armor right here. This box of bullets. And there's a medikit. I'm gonna get out my chainsaw. Come over here. You know you wanna. Yeah, there is a caco right there if you can see that. There we go. Let's get his attention. There we go. Alright, cool. Well, we killed everything in here. We don't need the armor. We do want to hit this switch, though. That lowers us a way out. And 
And it also opens up this huge open area. Of course, shooting that sigil makes a bunch of enemies notice us from afar. I'm gonna go ahead and use my chain gun. We can kill all of them from here. Now, I'm going to swap to my rocket launcher. When we get close, there are gonna be some cacos that come up out of this hole. Okay, and I think we got them. All right. All right, yeah. And of course, when we step closer, we alert a bunch of lost souls in these tiny little cubbies. All right. Kill that dude. I'm not looking so hot. Let's see. There we go. This does lower so we can get into this little hole right here. There's nothing in here though, but just thought I'd mention it. All right, now we got a bit of a tricky bit coming up here. As we go forward, we're gonna alert a Kako. Go ahead and shoot the sigil, that way it will alert a Baron. And we basically wanna make these guys in fight. And it looks like they're going for it. Wonder if the Baron's gonna die, actually. He was getting double teamed. Okay, well now let's kill him. I don't have much health, so I need to be careful. There we go. Once we kill all of them, there's gonna be another sigil for us to shoot at over here on the right. There's also gonna be a bunch of shotgunners and zombie men, so be ready for that. Now, by walking, walking on this edge, we trigger a huge domino effect. Now I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go ahead and kill as many enemies as I can see in that window up there before we go any further. Enemies are spawning on mass up there. Should use my shotgun. Like so. All right, I think we're in the clear now. There's a lost soul in here. The bastard. Now, as you can see, all these shotgunners we killed up here left a shit ton of shotgun ammo. I don't really need it yet, so we're just gonna go ahead and go in the teleporter. The gimmick for this part is that we're going between these towers, and each one of them is like a gauntlet. Now, there is a bit of a tricky bit here. Okay, cool. Want to land on that platform to get the rockets, but we also need to kill the imp down there. Try not to touch the lava, of course. There's a pinky off in the distance we're going to kill. Alright, now I'm going to switch to my rocket launcher. We'll teleport into this room. Where we need to... Rocket these cacos because I ain't putting up with this shit. Let's wait and see if there are any more. I 
I think those ones may have just been it. Okay, and then we take the teleporter. But once we go in the teleporter, that d that wall over there to the right's gonna open. We want to be very careful here. If you stand right here, the enemies are gonna be forced to go to this other this other gate over here. I think I can fight them from right here. Okay, yeah, I saw, I saw a shotgunner right there. It's really hard to see them because of the darker lighting over there, but... Watch out for the hell. Watch out for the Baron. Okay, it seems like we got them all. Oh crap, I forgot about this room. I forgot about this room. Shit. I couldn't remember I couldn't remember what the next room was damn all right now we want to be very careful here just want to fire as we're going along over here you fucker hate it when they surprise jump me like that all right there is a med there's a medikit right there I'm gonna grab it Now we're gonna shotgun the Baron. I would prefer it if they were both close, so I didn't have to rely on the the the, the glint out of the corner of my eye. Thank you. I don't mind if I use all my shotgun ammo here because there's still all that shotgun ammo in that one tower that we didn't pick up from all those shotgunners we killed. Come on. There we go. I will pick that up, though. Okay, but... Next order of business... Is we need to go over this way. We can shoot this sigil to raise up these platforms. I think I'm going to drop a quick save because I don't trust myself. Hopefully I won't need to use it, but... Who knows? Crazier has happened. Anyway, we need to walk along this narrow path. As you can see, there's a lost soul right there. There's going to be another one coming in from the right as well. Quite a few lost souls in this area. Running low on chain gun ammo, so I'm gonna swap to my plasma gun. Try to avoid letting any of them get out of the maze. Otherwise, the enemy noise is gonna drive you insane. I mean, I know lost souls don't count towards the kill count, but it's still very annoying. Here's a stem pack, thank you. You can, since we picked up the auto map, we can see this maze layout. There's a clip, so that way we can make our way through here. Alright, shells. And then here is a switch. This lowers a lift for us to go up on. I'm getting out my rocket launcher because we alerted four cacodemons. Okay, should be good enough. I guess there are five, excuse me. All right, now if you hit this switch, it lowers the platform right here, that way we can go up. All that shotgun ammo right there. We do need to find a way back to pick up all that shotgun ammo that we did miss. And here's another stim pack. And this teleporter takes us to the other side over here. 
I want to go back and grab all that shotgun ammo first, though. We know how to get there. Come back this way, go through the red door. I don't need to pick up the armor, so we're not worried about that. Then we head this way. There we go. There's a lot of shotguns. Oh, fuck you, dude. This is what I hate about those bastards. That one somehow got out. What a bitch. Alright. Now we're coming up to probably uh, my, uh, my, probably the scariest part. A part that I do not like. Definitely going to be using my plasma gun because I don't have enough chain gun ammo for this. Basically, we want to go along this left wall here. God, fucking die. Jesus, die. What the fuck? I don't understand why it took so long to kill him. Well, you know what? No, we're not going on the left side. Fuck that. We're going on the right side. It's safer. That way I can at least see what the fuck is going on. All right. Oop. All right. Now there's a Kaka demon right there. Plasma him until he's dead. You want to keep an eye out on these holes that are on the left because they always have something hiding in them. There's another Kako. Now there are two lost souls. One directly beneath you in front of you. And one that's a little bit further beneath you in front of you. Alright. And now we finally reach the end. So this is the last hurdle. It's a bit scary given my health condition. One bad RNG shot and that's it. Alright, we did alert a Kako. Alright. And then if we go forward... We alert another one. All right, cool. Now the yellow key card, the yellow skull key is just right down here. So quiet, just carefully drop down. Go ahead and switch your BFG. We have only one enemy left and he's right behind that door. Booyah. Holy shit. We did it. And that is it for Nightmare Underworld. Yes, we spent 23 minutes and 36 seconds on this level. Oh, man. Hopefully, seeing all the shit that we just dealt with, you probably understand why this is probably my least favorite level. Not because it's badly designed, because it's just... Ugh. It's, just, it's so... It wears you out. This level can wear you out. So, I'm done with it. I don't have to play this level ever again. But, we still have one mission left. It's time for us to find the portal and go back to Earth. So I hope you guys look forward to that. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you thought. And if you're new to this channel and you want to keep up with this adventure, be sure to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload. I appreciate all the support you guys give me. It means a lot. Join the Fox Army and I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, see you then.